everybody, it's me, Laura, and today I'm back with another polymer clay and eggshell tutorial design. And this one is going to be based on the strawberry basket I had done last time. I thought, why not put this into an eggshell? I think you're going to absolutely love it. So right away here, I'm bringing in my egg, and this has been cleaned out. So this eggshell has been bleached out already, and then I've attached it into my little clay base. But I thought I'd go ahead and try something really different. And I'm going to take my super glue here, and this is liquid super glue, okay? And I'm going right around that rough edge where I had kind of cut out previously to shake out all my egg internal parts. And I'm just kind of brushing the super glue right around the outside. Now I'm going to let that dry. And then I'm going to come in with a pencil. I'm going to create a little pencil line in kind of an oval shape right around where this glue area is. And then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to try cutting it that way and seeing if I cannot get a cleaner cut just by doing that. Okay, so once I got a good line laid down, I decided to go ahead and start using my little needle point scissors to cut the shell. Now, without water, this is a little bit more messy and it can be a little bit more unpredictable. You can see this just really kind of cutting off in chunks. And I thought, no, I can't get away from it. So I had to go back to using my water. Mind you, this worked out still pretty good. I got a pretty decent opening, but I decided let's go ahead and do another shell and let's do it with water. Okay, so here's my second eggshell and I thought let's go ahead and I did the same thing. I did the little bit of super glue around that edge. I'm drawing out my little line all the way around and I'm gonna come in with my little needle point scissors. I'm gonna cut that opening, but I'm gonna do it with this thing submerged in water. And really guys, when you're doing this, especially from this context and, and the way I go ahead and cut it with this little scissors, the water does make a difference. It helps kind of keep that, I don't know if it makes it just a little bit more flexible or something when it's in the water, but I really, I got a better result in cutting my eggshell. As you can kind of tell here a little bit, just easier to kind of get the little remnants off without completely shredding the entire shell. All right, now that we got our opening cut here with my scissors, I'm bringing in my eggshell white polymer clay, and that really is my Sculpey Original White. So I'm gonna thin this out onto, oh, I wanna say it was about a number four setting on my Atlas Pasta machine, and I'm gonna take my X-Acto knife, or you can take your tissue blade, and you're just gonna cut a nice little strip of this clay, and we're gonna have this go around the opening, uh, that raggedy opening on the eggshell. Okay, now that I got that strip of white clay around on that raggedy edge on my eggshell, I'm coming in with my burnisher, or you can use a knitting needle too, it's totally up to you. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start scoring where that clay is. And I like to try and make a consistent score type thing all the way around, 
kind of giving it its own pattern. As you can see, I'm doing the inside of the shell as well, just kind of scoring it right down and right up against the eggshell itself. Now, once I have the total inside of this eggshell completely scored, I'm gonna go ahead and mimic the same thing on the outside as well. Okay, now that I got that white clay kind of scored all the way around the opening of the eggshell, I'm taking a little bit of another ball, you might say, of white clay, and this thing was close to about, yeah, about three quarters of an inch or so in diameter, and I'm going to roll it out into a little log. I'm going to take a little bit of that super glue just on the very bottom on the inside of the shell, and then I'm going to place that log into the egg itself. Now, when I do that, I'm going to kind of gently press that clay down into the inside of the eggshell. This, the nice thing about polymer clay when it comes to eggshells, you can create your own base and everything else with it. And so that's what I'm pretty much doing on the inside of the shell. I'm creating a little platform so we can go ahead and set our basket right on inside of our egg. All right, so now we're going to make our little miniature strawberry basket. And right here, I want to say the cylinder is about five eighths of an inch long and a half inch in diameter. Now, I'm also going to bring in some of my gold or tan kind of roping here. I squeezed that out with my polymer clay gun on, I want to say it was the third smallest uh, roping. Um, but you can just go ahead and use whichever roping or I should say circular disc to create that roping to go ahead and go around our little basket. And I push it down, I kind of push down on this a little bit. You could tell it's gone up to a three quarters of an inch. And I thought, let's go ahead, push that down, and let's just kind of see what it looks like inside the egg itself. Now, if you think this is too big, make it a little bit smaller. Go with your gut. I'm also bringing in my pink and green striped stack. And that, was, that stack was done on a number one setting. I'm going in here, I'm gonna cut off the end, and I'm just gonna start creating a little bit of checker. I wanted to add in a little extra feature on this basket. Now, I was thinking about putting it, that checker around the base, and I thought, no, if I do that, you're not gonna see it. I want this little checker piece to be seen all the way around. So really, I'm putting this towards the top of my basket. So once I have this checker put in place, I'm going to come in and I'm going to start creating some little red balls. And I'm going to be using my red clay here, little red balls, and then I'm going to turn those into little tiny teardrops. And I'm going to place kind of a larger, you know, red ball on top of my basket there. That'll be kind of my base to build all of my berries off of. But I'm also trying to judge how tall that particular basket sits in my eggshell. You're going to be going back and forth between putting that basket in the eggshell and figuring out how tall it wa you want to have that inside the egg. 
So with, you know, I might give you the diameters here and the measurements and everything, but go back and forth in your egg, placing that basket in, seeing how tall it sits in the eggshell itself. This is going to be one of those areas where you're going to have to kind of just judge what looks right to you when you place that basket in the eggshell. From here, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys watch my hands talk as I put this little, tiny little strawberry basket together. Okay, now that we've got our strawberry basket put together, let's go ahead and start placing this into the egg itself. And I also went ahead and I cut off some of my wire. This was about 24 to 26 gauge wire. And I'm just kind of curling it using my needle tool. That is the one nice thing about my needle tool that I loved making when it came to my strawberries. I could just curl up this little like vine-like wire and put that into the basket. It, it looks, makes it look just a little bit more realistic. So I'm placing that in. Once I have that in though, I'm gonna start putting in my basket into my eggshell. It can be a little bit tricky at times. If you wish to use a little bit of super glue to make sure it's placed in exactly where you want it, then I suggest doing so. Now this being said, and I know some of you are like, oh, she went back to the super glue. <laughs> And I'm like, going, yeah, I did, didn't I? <laughs> However, that said, you could use a little bit of your liquid Sculpey to go ahead and attach it into your egg as well. I just like to put that super glue down just a little bit because I know it's not going to move then. Um, 
you're, you know, to make sure you have that really nice transition of clay to clay, go ahead and put in the liquid Sculpey as well. Both can't hurt. It works really, really good. As you can tell, I'm trying to get it around in, and positioned into place. Now, mind you, it takes me a little bit, you know, and I kind of, you know, because I was using my needle tool, I kind of made a few little holes on the bottom of that basket. But once I got it in place, you know, let it sit so that super glue will take effect. It'll grab it a little bit, but also use a little bit of a, that liquid Sculpey, you know, that way then you'll have that clay to clay fixture and you won't have to worry about it. Now, once you get this thing in place, then you can come in and I know that the opening on this eggshell is a little bit rough. This is where you can have some fun and play with your clay. And what I mean is you can bring in a few more berries. You can see I've got a few more of those little teardrops made and so on. We're going to place a couple around on the edge of that scored area. I have my strawberries in place right around in those areas and I decided let's go ahead and make this a little more fun. Fun. So I went ahead and I took my tissue blade and I thought let's go ahead and make kind of a straight cut off of the scored area. Take off the excess on the one side and then I'm going to bring in a little bit of that pink and green checker and we're going to tie it in from the basket onto the eggshell itself.
So at this point, I've taken my eggshell and I've completely baked it. So I baked it with the basket in it and everything. And I want to say when I baked this thing, I want to say it was about, oh, seven to 10 minutes, maybe even 15. Now, mind you, that being said, you know, the base on the outside of that eggshell can turn. So watch your clay. Make sure that if you see it starting to turn, pull out the shell. Now, I'm bringing in some of that gold and tan kind of clay, and I'm making kind of a long snake. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to put it right in where the base and that checker meet. I wanted to add kind of a fun little feature to the back. So I thought we are not going to have a plain shell. <laughs> I'm like going, not a chance. We are not having plain. No. <laughs> it's like, have you ever known me to do plain? Heck no. <laughs> so anyways, I'm bringing in that gold, tan gold kind of clay. And I'm going to just kind of create a little curl here. I'm going to pull it, you know, because it gets a little long. And I'm like going, okay, we got to pull some off. And we're just going to create a nice little curled type snake. Now, once I get that done, I'm going to add in some little larger strawberries right on the top. And I'm going to add in the leaves that correspond with it, as well as a little bit of a wire loop. And I'm going to sink that into the top of those berries. So this way, then, I have something to hang it with, OK? Now, if you need to use like a, uh, I want to say, like a knitting needle or even your needle tool to kind of figure out, you know, when you place that wire loop in to make sure it's center, definitely do so. Um, I've gotten so used to just doing it that I just naturally do. <laughs> like that helps anybody. <laughs> but oh well, there you go. So anyways, you could tell I'm going to have like three strawberries on top. The nice thing with adding the three strawberries so that I can put my little hanging feature in there is that it gives me a general idea um, of where to put the hanging mechanism. I'm not stuck with just one berry to kind of like put the hanging mechanism on. And so it also makes a nicer feature because I have something to kind of really build off of there. So when I add in my super glue where I attach the, you know, the berries to the shell itself, it will work just fine. Anyways, I'm going to add in those berries. I'm going to also add in another little gold kind of snake, if you will, which is kind of a bit of a vine, but not really. Uh, this is all make-believe in my head, so you just kind of go with it. <laughs> I'm going to create that snake. It's also going to build off of on the other side where the base is. We're going to build that in, and then I'm going to add in a little bit of checker to where all that, that gold snake is going on as well. Again, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys watch my hands talk as I put in the rest of this little design and add in the wires for what we're going to be doing next.
All right, so the little extras in this case are actually creating a couple of small little berries. I'm going to create two little berries together. I'm going to add in a little leaf, but the main thing that's going to go on here is I'm going to create, I'm going to take some of that wire like I'm doing right here, and I'm going to create a little loop. I'm going to get that little loop pretty tiny. It's not very big at all. And I'm going to twist up the ends together. Once I have those twisted up fairly decently, I'm going to bring in my wire cutter. I'm going to cut off the ends so it's fairly short. And then I'm going to take this little wire loop and I'm going to sink it in to the little double berry I'm going to be making. Once I have those double berries made, I'm also going to create a single berry and do another single little loop and bury that into my little tiny strawberry. Now once you get all of that created, go ahead and bake these berries separately on another little tiny tile and bake them for about 7 to 10 minutes at 275 degrees. At this point, the egg has been baked up completely, and I've made sure with my super glue that the wire is in there solid, and I've let it sit for a little bit. This is why I can pull on my wire just a little bit, kind of tugging at it so that it'll get a nice, nice kind of like curl going. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring in my wire cutter. I'm going to trim these wires down because they're pretty long. I don't need all of this. I have a tendency to do really long wire on these, but part of it is because I don't know how far in to really go to make it look right. And so I make sure I have a little extra. So this way then I can just curl it into what I really like the look of. So I'm bringing in my needle nose plier. I'm curling it up really, really nice. I'm going to do two on one side and then one on the other. And then this other wire, I'm going to curl upwards. So I'm going to curl up towards the top of where those, lar those larger strawberries are. And the reason why I do this is because, you know, I could do four wires coming down and it would look just fine, but I like my odd numbered things. So having two go down and then one on the other side, this gives me a three and it also generates a little bit more eye interest, if you will. Once I have that in though, I'm going to take that other wire, like you can see, I'm curling it up towards the top area instead. This way then, I'm going to take and curl that around into a little curl like I've got on the side here with these other three. And then the other two wires that are coming up out of those strawberries, we're going to go ahead and kind of wrap that around my needle tool, making that vine-like wire look, if you will. I just, I love that with the strawberries. It looks really neat.
So as I was putting this design together, I thought, you know what, I can't help it. <laughs> I thought, let's go ahead. What the heck? So I brought in my festive green, metallic green, if you will, acrylic paint. And I, I just thought, let's go ahead and do this with the leaves. It adds a little more interest. What can I say? I mean, normally I wouldn't. Normally I would just leave it and just go with it. But eh, what the heck? <laughs> Let's go ahead and add in a little more interest by bringing in that metallic green and highlighting parts of the leaves a little bit. So I decided to do that with the leaves and then I decided, well, let's go ahead and do that. Also then, where it comes to the little dots on the berries themselves, I brought in my Splendid Gold, which is a little bit of a yellowy, but a flashy kind of gold. And let's add that into the little bit, just a few areas on the berries and just kind of highlight it, giving a little bit more interest. Okay, so I'm bringing in those little berries that I had made with the loop and see how I'm putting those right on the little curled areas. Oh my gosh, it's so fun. Yes, <laughs> I have little homemade dangles on my eggshell. I love it. <laughs> After I decided to go ahead and add in a little bit of that festive green to the the little leaves, a little bit of that gold. Yeah, I thought, let's just go ahead and do it. I, you know, I really like having that dangle thing on those little curling wires. It, it just, oh, it, it's so much fun. <laughs> it just adds a little bit of that interest. And of course, right here, I brought in that gold and just made those little seeds into our little strawberries. All right, so this is the end result of creating my little strawberry basket in an eggshell design. Please use this for study and reference. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I'm always wondering what you're thinking. Otherwise, I am sending out my biggest hugs to each of you, and I hope you have a fantastic day.